Forza Horizon 6. It's time to talk about it again. It's coming. We know that for a fact. And it's super important that they get these things right to make the game the best one yet. Okay, one of the best ones yet. Can I just say how amazing this place looks when it's just wet, it's just br bright, beautiful. This might actually be my favorite location in the whole of the Mexico map. But anyway, let's talk about what needs to go. First up, is this damn thing here. And I've spoke about it in the past, but this, in case you don't know, is the festival playlist. And it has plagued Forza Horizon since time... Be okay, not time began, but I think since Forza Horizon 3, 4. This way of actually unlocking and earning cars has become so tiresome and painful that I need to see it go. Two games in a row definitely had this, and it's time for a new method. Not to say that any other game has really figured it out either, but this is so draining to see every single time I jump into the game. There are some significant changes. For example, Event Lab events are taking over to the point where they're getting the community to create most of the events. That's good. But I, I just don't, I don't like this system. What I'm actually interested in is in the new update in Forza Horizon 5, they're doing a collective community objective to get the cars, and I think that is more interesting to me than the every man for himself FOMO-ness. You still get a bit of FOMO, but it's like a coll I think that whole system makes so much more sense than this. Anyway, do something better. Speaking of doing things better and re-bringing up something I just mentioned a second ago, of all the elements in Forza Horizon 5, all the features, all the things they've done in recent times, Event Lab is probably the best in my opinion. Now with Event Lab Island, I was kind of hope, I had hope, I had excitement for the things that could be created. And honestly, the community has done a really, really good job. While we've definitely seen an improvement of the builder overall over time, there's still some significant issues that ultimately need to be sorted for us to be able to create useful playground areas. And I think that's ultimately what people want to use this for. Creating things that you guys won't let us do. Like good old free roam maps in a city. You could allow us to create anything and you don't. <laughs> the blueprint builder itself, the creating and spawning of objects, absolutely perfect. Honestly, uh, probably the best I've seen in a racing game. But if you ever try to create an event of your own, you'll know there's some limitations. This is the biggest problem the setting up and the tooling after the fact so of course we can set the time of day and stuff very basic the rules of play should be super powerful but if they get so many things like why can i not turn off ghosting that's probably one of the most insane things i cannot comprehend why don't you want us to create playground games why do we have to create races i don't want to. I personally love the more fun characteristic of racing games. I don't just like to do the racing. I want to create demo derby. I want to create police chases. I want to create chases nonetheless. I want to use this rules of play to create something that you can't already do. Why do I have to make something that I already can do in the base game anyway? It, it just made this doesn't make sense. Unleash the creativeness of your community. And I am also kind of worried that this is all going to go in the bin anyway because we're going to switch to the new engine with Forza Motorsport. Let's just pretend we're not. I can't tell you how many times I've created an event like this, the last supercar standing, or I've gone into a city that I want to just free roam in. Or basically anytime you go off the route or you go slower or you try and cruise in a city, you ghost. And it is this is one thing that they definitely could fix super easily because there is a glitch to kind of do it, or at least there was. I genuinely spent a couple of hours creating this event only to, hey look, subscribe to my company. To find out as soon as you jump out of solo play, you ghost. So we can't do the event. Great. It's your best tool, just sort it out. It doesn't take a genius to know that people don't really like the map in this game. And some people have kind of made the assumption that the reason the map is so flat and basic is because of this, the Eliminator, which I don't think most people give a damn about. <laughs> so I'm hoping in general, we just won't see a flat map because this is in the bin. But I'm gonna say something a little bit different than most people because people often argue that the map's not varied enough. It's all kind of brown and dull and not actually true you can see this is a lush area we were just in a nice towny city place it would be nice if we you know got an actual city that's something that people have been asking for for a really long time but i think it's safe to say that people are bored of the desert but those people i guess would have played forza horizon 3 because there was no desert in the uk is there a desert in the uk i really don't think <laughs> but my point actually is that i think the map may be too varied hear me out 
if they really just spread the areas out and try and make it so there's a city, a desert, uh, there's jungle, mountains, everything. It's almost spreading it too thin. And so the areas actually, in my opinion, feel too small. I really want a big city, but I don't want a city the size of the city in this game. I want a proper city. We're talking vast. If people are talking about they want Tokyo. We need a big city. I'm not talking about five streets. I'm talking about 500 streets. Okay, maybe not. That's, maybe, maybe that's a push, but you understand my point. The problem is the game, once again, feels like it was designed for you to just fly across. Fly across the hills and not stop. That's not how most people want to play. From what we see, people want to use the roads. And so the roads feel secondary. I want the roads to feel primary, the point. I don't care about driving across fields. This is not entertaining in any capacity because I'm going to hit a tree, as you can see, and my momentum has stopped. It's just not, it's just not fun. I, I, it's not. So I actually think less variety and more focus on a few particular biomes. Let's say three biomes, a city, a beach, and then trees. That's that's all I want. Trees and mountainous roads go hand in hand. So just kind of make those into to one location. This is where most people be like, oh, I, I want it to be in Japan. I, I actually don't care. I don't care. What I want is a cool location, like I just explained. that incorporates all those things, then we're good. Don't do Dubai, please, I'm begging you. Did you know you can buy houses in Forza Horizon? Yeah, that's a thing. Uh, you might have forgotten, just like I did. But what unfortunately, they... Why am I... Jimmy Broadbent did that, I think. I just don't particularly get the point of the homes. You can't see the interior of them. You can't even look at your house properly because the only thing you can do to walk around is Forza Vista. So you can look around in your driveway like a prat and see, oh yeah, look, I've got enough room for my golf clubs. I don't, I don't piss in though. <laughs> How cool would it be to actually be able to walk around your house, interior, put up pictures that you've taken in Forza Horizon, walk around a collection of your cars, test drive style. These small things reality really add up. I don't care if all the interiors ended up being the same and you could just change them and you could only have one house location, things like that. Just kind of go more test drive. If test drive isn't doing houses, you've had five games. You now have the opportunity at the height of your popularity to properly steal from test drive. <laughs> Jay Lake, just do it. I don't know. I think that would be pretty dope. I might be wrong though. This one is quite interesting because the auction house now i'm gonna say i am so glad that it has the auction house It's the only game to have something like this it would be so cool if gta had something like this but maybe that would cause some problems there's a lot of stuff that goes on in game development that you don't really think about so think about for example if they let you sell cars to specific people well all of a sudden someone's going to set up a website a dodgy website where you pay real money for the cars and that's not good someone's going to get scammed and they don't want to be the cause for that. They got pink slip races in various racing games. How do you do it so that if someone cheats by disconnecting their internet or whatever, that you actually get what was worth your time so people actually make use of it and or you don't get scammed out of your car for cheats, you know? So saying that, on the surface, something that makes me interested about the auction house and it kind of ties into quite heavily the festival playlist as we know if you put those you get 20 million you can scam people we know that what if you were able to list that you want to buy a car and then people in the game can then sell that car to you i think that would be a pretty cool system i think it's pretty safe but i would like to see an expansion on the current system and of course the cars wouldn't be as rare so nothing would be crazy in terms of oh, and off site i'm going to charge money because everyone can get them if they give one percent towards a, a community objective you get access to that car i think that's pretty cool i quite like that idea what do you think like i mentioned this previously and people really seem to like the idea i want to buy an lamborghini i have a lamborghini you are looking for this much one million okay we trade now like a, a lot of these features this one in particular is something that really bothers me because every game 
has uh, tried or has done this club feature before. Now, clubs are kind of useless in pretty much every game that they're put in because people are worried, oh, will people have enough friends? Will this kind of generate cliques and will no one actually partake in the whole community? You can fix this with some hard thinking. You might not even remember that clubs even damn exist in this game because I even forget my damn self. We've got seven club players online. It doesn't even work properly anymore. It was tied into the Xbox club. So the club system doesn't even work properly anymore, which is just, it's so frustrating. Here's some ideas to give you. What if you join a club, you get a club space? What if you get specific club cards that club community goals you can work towards and get access to and everyone in the club can use those cards? A club space to hang out, look at other people's cars, set community objectives, set times that people come online or you wanna do club v club. There's so much you could do with a club system and why does no game try and damn do it? <gasps> It bothers me, <laughs> it bothers me so much. And something else that bothers me is a lot of cool features that Forza Horizon has that again, don't require any maintenance, any efforts really outside of, oh, maybe we'll expand the area that you can use these tools. Like photo mode, for example, is um, questionable. It's at least decent. What about this? What about the drone mode? What? Ha why is the drone mode in the bin? Can you imagine, actually, instead of having drone mode, you could like walk around something like that. I don't, I don't know, it'd be really cool. You can get out of your car, you only maybe allow around a certain radius and then all the other cars just go so they don't like knock you off. <laughs> you just fly down the road. <laughs> but either way, the, why is this so buried in a menu? You might be wondering what the hell I'm talking about. You used to pause and it used to be like here. It used to be a drone mode. But now you have to go all the way over here and you're like, oh, it's down here. They're, it feels like they're about to just bin this thing off, but it's super cool. And another cool feature that they could do is create this as a also dual purpose spectator mode. So you could lock onto a car of someone in the game, in the race, whatever. Say you want to sit a race out or say, for example, when you're doing the bane of my life, the trial, <laughs> say you're doing that. You could join mid race where people have left and doomed the players playing. If you join mid race, then you'll just spectate that race and then you'll jump into the next one. Yeah, people might then get things very easily, but who cares? It's community objectives. We're not doing this stupidness, hopefully, in the next game. This is also something I'm sure the competitive community have been screaming for for such a long time. And yeah, I could host events. I could watch people partake in events that I set up and did. Say I, it combines with the event lab system. It, it aligns with the more competitive nature for some of those people that want that competitive nature. It's a, just a wrapping tool that just makes so much sense. And all it has to do is lock the drone camera to other cars in your party or your session, which are usually always instanced anywhere and you can just deload. It just, it just it makes sense, right? Anyway, those are my big things. I'm sure I missed some and I'm sure I'll think of more, but let me know yours down in the comments and check out these Forza Horizon videos.